everyone, this is Professor Benjamin, and in this module, we're going to continue to work with um, analyzing data sets. Um, and in this module, we're going to use Chicago sex offenders. We're going to learn one new tool, and we're going to look for age range using countifs. Besides learning this one new tool, you're also going to go back and we are reinforcing the tools that we learned in last week using the counted. So we're going to use countif, average, um, percentage. So we're going to use a lot of the tools that we've already le learned, um, but we're going to add another new tool to our toolbox using Excel or Google Sheets uh, using that function and formula in either Excel or that Google Sheets. Um, Remember, if you have any questions about or concerns about the first, uh, the, what we went over last week, there are helpful videos um, that can help you walk through the steps to be able to find percentage, number, total, average, etc. So I want to show you, I'm going to, oh, first of all, the first thing you need to do is download your data set. So we're going to use Chicago sex offenders data set this week. You need to upload this um, in Google Sheets. So you need to open a blank Sheets document and then import the file. So you want to make sure you do that. The other thing you want to open, of course, is this Word document here because it's going to tell you all the questions that we need to answer using our Excel sheet. So they're the first steps that you want to take. And I have done that already. So if you need to pause the video, um, download those files, etc. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up. This is the Word document. So we're going to answer what percentage of Chicago sex offender victims were minors? What is the average age of a sh Chicago sex offender? What percentage of Chicago sex offenders are males? And then we're going to do our, we're going to use our new tool um, to answer this uh, age range question. So we have to, it, it's, a, it, it's not complicated, but it requires a little bit more. And then the last question asks you to identify one additional variable you are interested in analyzing uh, in the database. And then you're going to need to make a chart like this and fill in the data. So you don't just make the chart, you also have to analyze the data. So let's look at the Chicago. So you need to make a table of some sort and you can either do total and percentage. Let's say if you're gonna do race, you could do, um, we're doing age range. You can do whether they were um, non-minors. I don't know, you can come up with your own thing after we take a look at the database. But this is to try to get your juices flowing for our project, our final project, where we actually have a database um, you get to choose a database from a list, and then you're going to actually analyze the data, creating charts and graphs like this um, to then give recommendations to law enforcement agencies. So that's why we're kind of working our way and trying to teach you these sort of tools and techniques. So I have already downloaded my, um, to my Google Sheets, I've already downloaded my data, um, and I'm here it is, so I already have my file ready to go. If, remember, if you haven't done that, pause the video, get it ready, and then you'll be at this place. So I have my overall database here, and notice the variables are last name, first name, the block, um, the gender of the sex offender, the race of the sex offender, the birth date of the sex offender, the age of the sex offender, the height, the weight. And so, I don't know, maybe you want to use height and weight in your um, additional, I don't know, maybe there's some correlation, I have no idea. Or um, the victim is a minor or non-minor. And notice that it doesn't say minor or non-minor, it says yes, a minor, or N for no, a minor. So Y or N. So when you're using the countif function to be able to find minor or non-minor, you want to make sure that you are using a Y or an N, not yes or no. So remember, that's important. Also, if you notice here, races, the race is listed in capital letters. So that's an important thing too. And gender is listed in capital letters. So you need to make sure when you are typing that in as the um, function, you have it capitalized or lowercase, or you may come back with zero. And if you come back with zero, then you need to, of course, there's an error somewhere and you need to figure it out. So here's my calculation sheet, and I have added the sheet. So of course, uh, in 
in Google, um, you can, in sheets, you can add a sheet. So I added a sheet and did calculations. Remember, this is that file. And then in the file cabinet, there's different sheets. So I've added a sheet here. And um, I've added kind of sort of what we're going to go through. So let's just quickly, uh, males is one of them, uh, one of the questions. It's actually the uh, question three. So let's look at this real quick. I'm just, it's a, for a review. Remember, you can always go back to the old videos. But let's look, do count if. So here it is, males. We're going to, of course, go to our, here we can insert a formula. And we're going to say um, count if. So count it for males, and we're going to go to our sex offender data, and we can go to our gender here, male, and then we're going to do our comma and our quotation, and oops, remember it is capital, so I need to do that, and then I'm going to hit enter. And I have 1,059 males, so look up here, here's my formula, I have 1,059 males. I need to find the total amount of sex offenders in this database in order to find the percentage. In order to do that, I need to go back to my database again. And of course, I need to scroll to the bottom to see how many entries there are in this database. There are 1,081 entries into this database. Now remember, that's not my total because I need to subtract one. And re remember, I need to subtract one from that total because this first row here is header information for my variables. So really, our total is 1,080, not 1,081. So in order for me to find the percentage, I'm going to do my equals, and I'm going to do um, 1,000. Oops, it kind of disappeared for me, so I need to look again. Okay, sorry, equals. 1,059 divided by 1,080, and I get 98%. Um, remember, if percentage doesn't show up here, you're going to format as percentage, and then you can either increase or decrease your decimal places. 98% are males. Now, this is something you can talk about with law enforcement agencies. Number one, why are so many male sex offenders? Why are there not as many females that are sex offenders? Maybe it's not reported as much. So there's a lot of questions to be asked. There are female sex offenders. So why is that disparity there? A lot of questions. Um, race is also plays a huge role in sex offenders. Um, white males are typically sex offenders, um, and that could be another recommendation you make to law enforcement agencies. So that might be the number five on the worksheet might be something that you want to look at is that idea of uh, race involved. All right, so the main reason for this video, and I got off on a tangent, is we're going to look at number range, and we're going to use the COUNTIFS function. And we're going to use greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. Um, and this is, uh, a lot of us get confused with the signs on greater than or less than, and I included in the PowerPoint a wonderful visualization. I know it's a little childish, but it really helps me as well um, to understand. And a lot of times people talk about Pac-Man um, in terms of greater than or equal to. And if you had to homeschool children during the quarantine or um, uh, you you kind of had to refresh on a couple of these uh, um, mathematical functions. So this is um, going to show you. So what I need to do is um, I need to use my COUNTIFS tool. So I'm going to go over here and use my COUNTIFS. And I'm going to now, I have to go back to my data set, and we're going to look at age. Um, so I have to put in G for my age. And then what I need to do is I need to say what I want the first uh, one. To, so I need to use my comma and I need to use my parenthesis, my uh, quotation marks. And we are going to say we need this to be greater than or equal to and that first age range is 20 because we're looking between 20 and 30. So I need my first age range to be um, greater than or equal to 20, and then I need it less than or equal to 30 is the next one. But remember, I need to put a comma here, and I need to put my G back in there again. Whoops, that's incorrect. So I need to take my sex offender here, um, and I need to copy it, 
because I need to put it here. So I need to delete that and I need to put my parentheses at the end here. My, um, sorry, I didn't do that. My quotations, I need to do sex offender, comma, I need to do my quotations and now I need to use the other sign. Um, so I need to use or equal to 30 and then I have to remember my parentheses, uh, my quotation mark, I apologize, and then I have 58 show up. I know that was complicated, so let me walk through another one with you. So here we are again. We're going to use our COUNTIF tool. So we're going to go over here. We're going to use COUNTIF. We are going to go back to our main database. We're going to say age, comma, quotation marks, and then we need to do our next age range is we want it to be greater than or equal to 30. Then we need another, oh, I forgot my quotation marks again. And then I need another comma and we need to do G is our age range again. So we can click on G again, comma. I need to put my next age range in. So we need it um, greater than or less than 30. And now we need it less than or equal to 40. So we need to do less than or equal to 40, enter. And now we have 273. Let's do one more together and then I'm gonna let you do the rest. Now remember, in order to find percentage, we need to divide it by that 1080. So I'm just gonna type it over here as reference. So we would take 58 equals 58 divided by 1080. And this would give us that percentage. So only 5% between the ages of 20 and 30. You'll notice there are percentage ranges that will be higher. Here's 273, so if we do equals 273 divided by 180, um, it will give us, oh, it gave us our number, but it's really 25% because I'm going to make this into a percentage and take away there. Let's do this one real quick. I'm running out of time on this video, but I want to walk you through it one more time just so that we get it down. Um, we're going to add our thing here. We're going to say count if. We are going to go to, to here. We're going to say our age, comma. Okay. We need to make sure that we are here. We are um, greater than or equal to 40, comma. Don't forget your, parent, your uh, quotation marks, comma, quotation marks. And then we are, oops, yes. We want to be less than or equal to... Um, 50. So we need to do 50. Not available. I did something wrong. So I did something wrong here. Let me just check real quick and not, let me, let's go back. So we did something wrong here. We did greater than there, there. What is wrong here? Let's figure this out for a second. Okay. I figured it out. I was using the wrong symbolage. So let's um, quickly do this one again. So here we go. Let's do count ifs. I figured it out. Count ifs. Um, here we go. We're going to go back to our sex offenders and we are going to do this equals parentheses and we are going to do our greater than or equal to, I put, the, I forgot the equal to 40 and then I'm going to do my comma. I'm going to put my G again because that's what I, I need that um, column, and then I'm going to do my quotation marks, 50, oop, I forgot equal again, and I should get 302, so 302 between 40 and 50, okay, so I'm going to let you guys do these, 50, 60 through 70, 70 through 80, you'll see 50 through 60 should be the highest or somewhere near close to that. They should be close to the highest. Yes, this should be the highest one. Um, so you want to go through and do that. This should be the highest age group of individuals. And then you want to fill in the percentages. Don't forget, you want to make sure you go back and put all of your data into your Word document. Don't forget your Excel sheet here. Um, you want to go back, put all this information into your document, and then upload this to Canvas so that I can see what you have done. If you have any questions, let me know, and I hope this video was helpful.